the Intentional Advisor community. This is Lucila Williams bringing you the Built with Purpose video blog. What we fear most is what we most need to do. That is a Tim Ferriss quote. If you hang out with me for very long, you'll hear me quote him. I think he's one of the great business philosophers of my generation. Um, and there's probably more Tim Ferriss in your future if you're following the Intentional Advisor. So I talk to a lot of advisors and some of the fears that I hear them talk about or sometimes feel from them are the following. Fears of charging fees for the first time. Uh, fears of turning away non-ideal clients. You've got to take everyone. Fears around handing off business to the next generation or the new advisor in the practice. Fears about controlling their calendar, basically saying, no, that's not going to work for me. From, from female advisors, I often hear fears about making serious money. They, they kind of play small. Well, I don't know, you know, 100,000 would be fine. I don't want to make 500. I don't want to be crazy and make a million. Um, a lot of fears around getting too big. I hear people talk about fears of hiring the staff they really need. Or like me, years ago, fears about going independent and how scary that would be. Sometimes they don't say it out loud. They do kind of this weasel thing where they make one excuse in one direction and then kind of another and another and then they explain how their situation is so different that, that really they shouldn't do the thing that they're scared of. And I completely agree with Tim that what we fear doing most is most what we need to do. So what do you fear most? Well, I'll tell you what. I'll go first. I will tell you what I fear most. Putting myself out there online, which I know that's kind of funny because you're watching this on a video blog, but it's true. It's scary to put myself out there online, to have my ideas judged, to have someone tell me that maybe I'm crazy. You know, the online world is not the nicest place to be or the friendliest place, uh, especially these days. But here's the thing. Creating an intentional advisor community is really important to me, and it's more important than staying safe and comfy in my little bubble. I was sitting in a group of advisors listening to them talk about a month ago, and one of the guys said something like, you know, this is all great. Here we're sitting around talking, a bunch of like-minded advisors, and doing business this way makes sense when we're all together. But when I get back home and I'm back in the real world, and I'm the only one trying to run an intentional business, I feel very alone. I feel very isolated. I think that that is an experience that a lot of advisors feel trying to build their business with purpose and on purpose. And I don't think they're alone or they need to be alone. I want to change that. I want to build a community of intentional advisors that support each other and interact in real time to share ideas. I want to create a safe place where people can come to ask stupid questions, to rant about the craziness of our industry, and to celebrate their wins. I don't think that place exists today, and if it does, I'm not aware of it. So I guess we're going to have to build it. And frankly, that scares the heck out of me. I'm not a social media star. I don't want to live this selfie lifestyle. And as an advisor, I frankly have steered away from social media for years. And now I'm going to try to build an online community for advisors from scratch uh, feels a little crazy. But I do feel like we need that place to come together with other advisors like ourselves. And I want to do it in a new way, using new technologies, stretching our own boundaries and skills in the process, and maybe learning something that we can bring back to our practices as technology moves forward. What we fear most is most what we need to do. So here's what I'm going to do. I am launching a closed Facebook group called the Intentional Advisor Mastermind. For those of you that aren't familiar with this concept, here are the basics. Number one, you have to have permission to join the group. So in other words, you ask for permission and you get allowed in, and it's for financial advisors only. What you say, like, post, do within the group does not show up in your Facebook feed. Other people can't see it. It's like Vegas. What happens in the group stays in the group. We can kick people out that don't behave, and, and the rules are things like just like don't be a jerk. Um, also, you use your personal Facebook page, and there are no potential clients, so by my estimation, this shouldn't fall under any rules around social media for broker-dealers. So this is really a personal interaction in a private space. I remember when I did go independent about five or six years ago, and I had a non-compete, and I remember describing the feeling um, 
of feeling like a lemming, being the first one to jump off the cliff and then kind of looking back and going, um, is anyone going to follow me? Well, let me tell you, the clients did follow me, but it was very scary. And that's kind of how I feel now. I hope that the idea of building this community matters to you and that you'll join me in building this community together. I hope that you've enjoyed this discussion of what we fear most, and I would love to hear what you fear most. And I think you could probably guess where I want to hear that comment. Um, I would love to see you in the Intentional Advisor Mastermind group. So here's how you find it. You go on Facebook and you search for the Intentional Advisor Mastermind group, um, and then you can ask to join. Um, we'll be really quick about getting you in there. Also, you can follow the link that's going to be included along with this video. If you want to help me build the Intentional Advisor community, please share this video and invite your friends to the Facebook group. And just a reminder that at the Intentional Advisor, we help you build your practice with purpose and on purpose.